hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so if you're new here my name is debbie i am a full-time entrepreneur i wake up every day and come to this shop that you see behind me um i have had this shop for almost a year now before then i had another shop before i moved from that town to where i am right now and i have also sold uh, some clothes online and recently i just incorporated a, a nail business into this business and more on how i started uh, my business is i have done a video about it and i'm going to link that video down below so make sure you check that out so guys in today's video i have decided to share with you uh, the lessons that i have learned the things that i have learned in my entrepreneurial journey so make sure you stay tuned for that like this video and leave a comment down below if you have any other question i'm going to answer it in yeah i'm going to answer it down below in the comment section so yeah and i also have some notes that i have written down here so if you see me looking down don't mind that so lesson number one is that there are moments that you will have to go back into your pocket ama like you will have to you will have to use your personal resources I'm even go in debt so that you can be able to keep your business going if possible what you can do is find maybe a side hustle to complement the business when things are not going the right way you can find maybe something that you can be doing on the side if your business is something that you're doing full-time find something else that you can do on the side that will bring you some extra cash for you to be able to complement your business if your business is a side hustle then you there are times that you're going to go back into your pocket and take some money out of there and even go and borrow some money in order to keep your business going that's lesson number one so lesson number two is that you must keep evolving according to your customers needs You must keep evolving according to your customers needs and seasons flexibility flexibility is required in order to keep up with the ever changing market needs don't just say that i'm only going to be selling uh, kids clothes and when there is that season that maybe there are people that are asking for women clothes you can't even bring them that because that's what your customers will need so make sure that you're flexible enough you're flexible enough to be able to bring uh, or to be able to incorporate other things into your business as you can see when i started i was selling uh, i wanted to be selling second hand mutumba clothes but right now i even have new clothes you can see behind me there are men jeans i have incorporated even a nail business since i saw there is an opportunity uh, I'm like there is yes there is a, an opportunity um, where I am right now there is no one who is doing um, nails so I decided let me go study a little bit and then I'll come and do and offer that service together with selling my clothes so that when I'm not sell when the clothes are not selling I'll be doing the nails when nails are not uh, when the nail business is not doing so well I'll be selling the clothes you see I, I also even do uh, refill perfumes. So make sure that you're incorporating as many things as possible. Be flexible enough to be able to change from one thing to another. If that one thing is not selling, you can be able to go to the next thing. If it's the season for jackets, get the jackets. If it's the season for crop tops, get the crop tops. That's what I mean when I'm saying be able to evolve according to your customers' needs and seasons. The other one is bookkeeping and accounting. Make sure you're keeping. Uh huh. So the third thing is bookkeeping and accounting. Make sure you're keeping track of all your expenses, uh, sales, everything, stock in, sales, everything. Find a way that works for you. It doesn't have to be that complex. If you don't know how to do it, maybe you can get someone to do it for you and don't make it too complicated just something that works best for you and something that you can be able to interpret and be able to keep track of everything that comes into the shop and something uh, everything that goes out of the shop number four is financial management do not make financial management yani do not mix um your personal 
finances with your business finances those, those two should be kept separate don't uh don't don't go using your business money for your personal reasons you know business money should be for for the business if you are going to restock you have to use your business money unless unless like you're using like the profits and uh, as i said bookkeeping and keeping records you know what you're doing like you know that your profits uh, your profit margin so the excess money you can be able to maybe take yourself out i'm like buy yourself something some lunch i'm like buy yourself something that you need but make sure that you're not mixing the two and saying that since you have sold a, an item for 300 bob now 300 bob is your personal money that's that's not how it's supposed to work make sure that money is for the business and it's going back to the business to make the business even better the next thing is this is like the most important thing is do your best and just leave the rest to god self-doubt is not going to help you with anything so if you keep doubting yourself and if you keep like feeling like you're going to fail it's probably going to happen and you're just wasting your time and um, even making yourself feel demotivated and in the end you can even fail in the business if you're still if you're just self uh, doubting yourself make sure that you're doing giving it your best and leave the rest to God pray for your uh, customers pray for your business pray for your uh, mental health your confidence your finances make sure that you're leaving everything to God and you're inviting God in everything that you do so that he can also be able to help you assist you whenever you feel stuck learn and when you do a mistake make sure that you're learning from it don't take too much time pondering on that mistake because as i said that's going to just make you demotivated it's not going to help you in any way so learn learn from that mistake and move forward the next thing is that you have to give your business time just like raising a baby um, for that baby to grow I'm a, for your business to grow you have to give it time um, patience like you have to be patient with your business don't just do it for one month and feel like mm, this business is not going to be successful that's not how it's going to work there's no baby that goes from ages 0 to 20 years uh, in a span of one month so at least give your business time just like raising a baby because it's it will eventually grow your business is uh, is growing day in and day out even if it doesn't feel like so i'm like even if you don't uh, see like your business is growing it is growing stay consistent and stay motivated because one day you're going to look back into that business and you will wonder hey so i wanted to give up on this business when it was just two months old and now two years down the line three years down the line five ten see where you have come from like you will see that progress and like i said just like just like a baby that takes time to grow your business is going to take time so don't expect don't have too much expectation of it just growing overnight and the last last uh the last lesson that i'm going to share with you guys this is so important is to know when to let go when things are just not working out um i feel like anyone and i feel like everyone should be in a position to realize when that business is really not working out maybe uh you can close down or you can just change it like i said you can be flexible you can change uh the line of business if you are maybe just selling shoes and you feel like mm, this business is not growing you can maybe um have other ideas when you know the time to let go of those shoes that are not selling and get something that is going to sell i'm like get something that your clients are in need of make sure you are looking for opportunities so that you can be able to grow your business i'm like you can be able to uh, solve a problem that maybe your clients may be having don't just um don't just t stick to that business if you feel like this thing is really not working out 
know like it's time to let go so that you can be able to have the time to even think of other business ideas that are going to work out for you don't uh don't beat yourself up saying that you're a failure am i anything it's just that that one business didn't work out for you and others might work out for you something else might work out for you so know when it's time to let go of that business let go of that situation let go of that um, service that you're offering if it's not selling know when to let go and start thinking of a better way or a better business idea so guys that's it for guys a big no any noise that you may be hearing as i said i'm at the shop um there are shops next to me there are people um passing by there are cars and vehicles and motorbikes passing by so there's a lot of noise so ignore that but anyways that has been it and i hope that you have learned at least one thing or two things or seven things that i have shared and you're going to incorporate it into your business and in case there is something that i have left out a boo interact down below in the comment section we are going to be reading those comments and we are also going to be learning from you guys and if there is any other question leave it in the comment section subscribe if you're new like this video and what else share see you guys on our next one bye